I'm Chase, and I am a student at Arizona State University. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about beer. I'll start off by giving a brief description of the historical significance of beer. I will then go through and explain the two main types of beer and the different subcategories contained within those two main types. Finally, I will give a little bit of information on some of the world's most popular beers, specifically beers from Belgium, Germany, and the United States of America. Now some of you might not feel that beer has a great historical significance, and that is simply not the case. Not long ago, archaeologists found a 4,000 year old Mesopotamian clay tablet that contained cryptid messages. These cryptid messages were later discovered to be a, a recipe. A recipe for what, you might ask? Beer. So from the beginning of time, beer has had much importance. Also, beer has had much significance in our own nation's history as well. According to the Beer Institute, the pilgrims might not have found America if it wasn't for beer. There was a shortage of beer on the Mayflower, and the, the pilgrims were forced to seek land, thus finding America. In a diary from one of the Mayflower's passengers, it is stated that, and I quote, we could not now take time for further search, our victuals being much spent, especially our beer. So basically, the pilgrims ran out of beer and had to seek land so they could make more. Now, when it comes to beer, there are two main types of beer. There are lagers and there are ales. In both lagers and ales, there are four main ingredients. Water, hop, malt, and yeast. Lagers are brewed in cool conditions using slow-acting, bottom-fermenting yeast, and then stored in cool conditions for a long period of time. The cool conditions and longer brewing period enable particles and various flavor compounds to self-filter. The result is a very clean tasting beer. Actually, the word lager itself comes from the German verb lagern, meaning to store. Unlike ales, which can be brewed in a couple of weeks or less, lagers typically take longer, at least five weeks. Now when it comes to lagers, there are a few different types. There are Pilsner lagers, pale lagers, dark lagers, and light lagers. Pilsner lager is light in color and is usually highly carbonated. Pilsners have an alcohol content of 4% alcohol by volume, and many of the world's lagers today are of the Pilsner style. The next type of lagers that I'll talk about are pale lagers. Pale lagers are usually pale to golden colored. They are distinguishable by their body and noble hop bitterness. The majority of these beers are around the world are of this type. Pale lagers are not as strong tasting as many other beers, and are popular for their mild flavor. Next are dark lagers. Dark lager is produced with the same yeast and similar techniques as Pilsner style beers, but with larger portion of chocolate malt and less hops. They are generally around 5% alcohol as opposed to the 4% alcohol of the Pilsners. And they range in color from dark amber or they can be even nearly black. The taste is sweeter and less hoppier than the Pilsner style beers. The final beer that I will talk to you about are light lagers. Light lagers are generally lighter in color versions of their brewer's premium lagers. Some contain less alcohol, but all contain less calories and less carbohydrates than their regular partners. The next type, main type of beers are ales. Ales are normally brewed with pot fermenting yeast. The important distinction for ales is that they are fermented at higher temperatures and thus ferment more quickly than lagers. Ales typically are fermented at temperatures, temperatures between 60 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. At these temperatures, yeast produce significant amounts of esters and other secondary flavors. Typical ales are sweeter, have a fuller body, and contain more alcohol than lagers do. When it comes to ales, there are Belgian ales, pale ales, dark ales, and German ales. Belgian ales are, encompass a wide variety of brewing techniques. The most famous Belgian ales are Abbey ales, some of which still are still made by monasteries in Belgium. Belgian ales have a rich, heady flavor and are also very filling. According to tradition, these, may, uh, these ales are made partic particularly filling because they are consumed during fasting periods. 
times in which monks can only consume liquids. The next type of ales are pale ales. Pale or amber ales are pure barley are made of pure barley malt. Pale ale has a strong hoppy flavor which is distasteful to some consum consumers who prefer more, more mild flavors. The ale is usually pale in color and may have sediment when drawn on tap because of lingering yeast. Dark ales include stout and porter, two ales distinguished by their dark color and rich complex flavor. Dark ales tend to have a slightly smoky flavor and a rich creamy head. Guinness is probably the one of the most famous dark ales. Guinness is a stout. Stouts come in a variety of incarnations, but most are, but most are slightly dry and sweet and have coffee or chocolate-like notes which go well with an assortment of flavors. German ales tend to be darker and more complex because they are fermented at lower temperatures. They have more body than Belgian ales do, and they are they're different in the mashing process. They are also thicker, and some of them have distinctive sour, fruity flavors, like those found in Heffenwein. Now that you know a little bit about the different types of beers, I'll give you a little bit of information about the world's most popular beers. Stella Artois is a premium lager made in Belgium. It is Belgium's most popular beer. Stella was first brewed in Lelvum, Belgium in 1926 and contains about 5.2% alcohol. Stella is, is not only Belgium's most popular beer, but is also the most popular premium lager in the United Kingdom. Bex is not only one of Germany's most popular beers, it is also extremely popular worldwide. Bex was first brewed in Bremen, Germany in 1873. It is also a Pilsner lager and has a little over five and it contains a little over five percent alcohol. Last but certainly not least are America's most popular beers. Budweiser and Bud Light are America's most popular beers. Anheuser-Busch produces both Budweiser and Bud, Bud Light, which are both lagers. Anheuser-Busch began brewing Budweiser in St. Louis, Missouri in 1876. Bud Light and Budweiser are the number one and two selling beers in America, respectively. Budweiser contains about 5% alcohol, and Bud Light contains slightly less at about 4.2%. Now that I've given you a whole bunch of general information on beer, I encourage you to go seek more on your own. There is so much information out there, and it is a very interesting topic that I feel you would really enjoy. I love it, I drink it, and I make it, and I hope you can love it as much as I do someday. Thank you.